direct to you. Thanks, my wonderful town. Doc, what about the performance today, especially the defense, I thought? Yeah, I really did. I really, uh, you know, the scoring system, it's the first time I've ever done that. So I was you're getting a little concerned about whether one way it's going to be uh, lopsided one way or the other. But, and it started out that way, but the defense came back. They hit pretty well. I thought they ran around really well. And um, so it was encouraging. It was good, good on both sides. As you go through the practices this spring, were you seeing that the defense was coming together? Because, you know, obviously so many people leaving, uh, you know, it's, you don't ever know. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, you don't. And, I, uh, you know, what I'm seeing over the other side is a little bit more sense of urgency. I think there's guys over there that this is their, their shot to go to shine out there, and they're, they're out there, and they're working hard and understand the schemes. And, you know, I think the coaching staff has done a great job of getting those guys moving and, and uh, getting them in the spots that they uh, that can be comfortable at. You guys had an interesting pro day. Say. The yeah. amount of people, obviously, the amount of scouts, but not only that, I mean, Drew Rosenhaus shows up. What was that like for you as a coach to be seeing the amount of attention your team, you know, your players are getting? Good and bad. You know, the good part was, you know, we, uh, you know, we are, we're getting a lot of attention. There's a lot of good kids, okay, to have a chance going to the next level. And the bad thing is, it's, uh, you know, there's guys that you've, you've uh, worked with for four or five years, and all of a sudden, you know, they're going to be leaving you. And uh, so, uh, but it was uh, bittersweet. I, I really like the way our kids, I think our kids handle themselves really well. Nice thing we're hearing from the pro scouts is you, you got good kids, and they work hard, and, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're people that we, we would want to be part of the program. Well, and, you know, Brandon West, we were talking to earlier, and he was saying, yeah, I didn't feel like I had a good game today, but I thought it was interesting. The amount of backs you have uh, really seems like you can spare people throughout the season and, get, and, you know, get people healthy and make sure that they're fresh every game. Is that, is that kind of how you feel with the amount of backs you have? Yeah, I think so. And, I, and we got two coming in, too, that are pretty good players, too. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of competition out there. I, you know, Brandon's really an exceptional talent. You know, we had the one fumble, but he's going to be a really a good player for us this year. And I think Aaron Winchester and Glennis Thompson really played really well for us. And, you know, and then uh, uh, Jamie Simpson, he's got a chance to get himself better. And uh, and I think he will. He's worked hard and get to get to a spot. And uh, the two guys coming in. So I think we got some pretty good guys running around back there. This is one of those things where, you know, you've got a ton of people here watching. They're coming for the autographs. The community's involved. But on top of that, you're showcasing recruits. I mean, explain, if you would, the importance of the spring game and, and what it is for you, why you have, you know, you pump it up pretty heavily. Well, this is the first year we actually we kind of combined a lot of things. We had the, the, the youth clinic out there. We had about over 70 kids out there for that. And then we had junior day, which we've never had before. And uh, we ended up over 65 prospects coming to that thing there. And then, uh, then we got the community and the signing. And, uh, autographs afterwards and it just gives the community a chance to see what our kids are all about and um, be around them a little bit more and uh, so it was a, it was a great great day for us normally the weather is nothing like this for <laughs> spring games yeah. what does this i mean does this mean you guys are going undefeated or no i think it, it could mean i could take my golf clubs and play nine holes after <laughs> this uh, you know but it's a uh, it's just been, it was a great day. I mean, it was everything that, that you wanted to be. And uh, so, we're, you know, we're really fortunate. Uh, you know, we got great weather, but we got uh, great activities all the way through. I think uh, sometimes people get, you know, everyone's always excited for the opener, but this year it's at Michigan. I mean, it is Michigan. I mean, what, does that add anything to it, or is it just sure. preparation? You know, it's kind of, you know, for us, we, we really haven't even thought about it. And it's a, a point now just trying to get our team ready to go. And in the next couple of weeks, you know, we'll, we'll start, you know, start focusing a little bit more on Michigan as a staff. And uh, then our kids got to get get them get themselves ready. And but uh, you know I think the the Bronco Nation out there is probably uh, looking forward to it. Well, uh, Tim Hiller was saying he uh, feels like he's a little bit ahead of schedule in the way he's sure. been working out. I mean, uh, is that going to be different? You know, I know he's been through it before, but. For you guys, as you have a quarterback who's, who's working to get back into it, does he have to have more time, or do you feel like he's progressing nicely? Well, I think he's progressing nice. It's still going to be a little bit of an issue because he's, you know, normally the reps in the spring that you would have there in the next couple of months. But the one good thing is he, he did take part in some seven on sevens, which I think helped him out, and I'll you know, have a chance there in the next few uh, few months before June comes back that he'll have some more. Uh, more uh, activity going on, and and in June he'll you know he'll be the guy, he'll be the starter, and he's going to have to run the summer workouts.